911. What is the address of your emergency? There's an overwhelming sense of urgency across the city of Minneapolis as the city reaches the final days of preparation before opening statements are set to begin in the Derek Chauvin trial. From boarded up buildings to barricades around the courthouse, part of that preparation involves having an adequate amount of 911 operators ready to respond to an influx of potential emergency calls. We're getting a lot of questions from the public about this topic. <laughs> Last summer's riots and looting led to several backups through 911 dispatch, delaying response times while putting a strain on emergency resources. We've acquired a temporary backup facility that will allow us to have some extra additional telecommunicators to answer phone lines. City officials plan to partner with other neighboring agencies should cell towers become overloaded while also using an additional radio channel to reroute calls. Should our 911 calls roll to another dispatch center, they can communicate to us on that 911 radio line as well or transfer medical emergency calls directly to our medical partners. They say communication is key and this time around city officials say safety will be a shared responsibility whether by phone or online. We will continue to monitor these sites on a regular basis to make sure that we can ensure the best possible service to the residents of the city of Minneapolis. Devon Roming. CARE 11 NEWS. CITY OFFICIALS ARE ASKING EVERYONE TO DIAL 311 FOR NON-EMERGENCY CALLS AND REPORTING SUSPICIOUS ACTIVITY.